When you were growing up, what basketball player do you like, man, his game nice. I like that. Who who did you who did you follow closely when you were growing up? Um, when I was a kid, I was a big Iverson fan. Okay. Like AI was, and it's crazy because it wasn't the details of his actual game as much as it was his swag and like him being like one of the smaller players. Mm -hmm. And he's AI was the one of the few players that gave me the energy of people that I was around. Like he right. gave me like Allen Iverson felt like he could have been from my neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> like, the tattoos, the braids, he wore tall tees, he was sagging. The way he spoke, it was like, it was like I I knew that I knew his his type. You know what I right. mean? I knew his type of person. And it reminded me of a, a dude that was from what I was from. Right. And you know how hard he played, you know, and it was almost like he was he was with whatever against whoever, and he was never surrounded by all the best. You know what I'm saying? And that's right. kind of why I'm like, that's kind of like what I'm. That's what, your mentality. Yeah, you're not the biggest. You don't have. You're not. You don't have top ten players all time around you to play with. But you say, you know what? I'm six foot tall, six one. I can get it done. I saw AI do it. AI led a team to the NBA Finals. He won an MVP. Hey, I think I think I'm nice like that too. Exactly. I mean, he, I always liked AI. Like he, he had the style that like that appealed to a kid like me. Like everybody, everybody in my neighborhood loved AI. Like it was like and then how much this how much everybody in my in my neighborhood loved AI. We got a dude. Uh, Name, we had a dude named Paul Marigny in my that was from Oakland. He ended up going to St. Mary's College and he was like the person from Oakland that was supposed to like go to the league. He mm -hmm. was nice, but he ended up messing up his knee. He still was good, played overseas for a long time. But I remember him playing against a dude from my neighborhood for a hundred dollars and a pair of Iversons. <laughs> like they played they played one on one for that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like, it just show you like he was AI was everything. You know? Right. I don't know if they're gonna let you show up to the game how AI used to come to the game because Commissioner Stern he changed that dress code. You can't come with four XT when you were, when you was medium or large, and you definitely can't come with the FUBU. All the stuff, <laughs> and, the stuff that's that's acceptable in that tunnel today, I bet you I could get away with dressing how Iverson dressed because you stuff, think so? What do you not be seeing what people? <laughs> I do. I, I think some of these dudes, I don't know where they come. I mean, I saw Kuzma had, on, had a, a sweater that was a 50 extra large. I don't know where he get that sweater from. You wear that, I can wear a tall tee and some baggy <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.